To a developing story out of Beaverton that we've been following for days. So heartbreaking. 13 year old Milana Lee was killed. Now her death is officially ruled as a homicide. Two days ago, her body was found in a creek, and with no arrests made, investigators still haven't said exactly how she died. Our Brandon Thompson live at the Beaverton Police Department learning more about how students are coping. Brandon? And it's a lot for students of this age, Liz. We're here at Beaverton Police Department. They tell us there's no update on this case today. Milana was a sixth grader at Conestoga Middle School here in Beaverton. Her school announced her death to classmates yesterday during first period. It's a lot for these kids of this age to handle and to cope with. How a teenager reacts to death can be different to each child. It isn't always dependent on how well or how close the student you know, was to the actual incident. A team of counselors from Beaverton School District are at Conestoga Middle School helping students and staff process the death of 13 year old Milana Lee. Police say there is no threat to the community related to her death, and Baker believes it's important for children to know that. We also really want to reassure students about their own safety. Uh, we want to do that in an honest way, right? Unfortunately, bad things can happen, um, but most of the bad things that happen are pretty rare. Beaverton police tells us there's nothing new they can report about Milana's case right now. When a classmate dies, there can be a search for those answers on all platforms, particularly social media. So not only do they have access to rumors and all kinds of other things that they made access on there, they can also be constantly looking for what's the latest news. Baker says limiting social media is helpful, but not what students are told. So be honest, I will also tell you middle schoolers can see through a lie like nobody's business, right? Um, so we need to be honest with our kids um, and realistic. Baker says that will help students engage in the conversation. She hopes parents can be mindful of any changes in their child, saying it may be the best time to force the issue. Be a little bit more pushy about, no, no, how are you today, right? I'm here for you. Um, I want to hear about what you're feeling um, because they're going to need that if they're impacted by a tragedy. So there are two links for you to check out at coin.com. One is a list of resources for parents if their kids are dealing with tragedy. Another is a link to a GoFundMe page that has been created to help Milana's family during this time. Reporting live in Beaverton, Brandon Thompson, Coin 6 News.